G'day fish keepers, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz Today is Friday which means it's frozen food Friday So today we're going to be looking at mysa shrimp So what is a mysa shrimp? This is mysa shrimp So it's a macroscopic crustacean uh, It's gut loaded with lots of nutrients and it's naturally high in amino acids Which is really really good for fish growth So that's a good start so like most things, frozen, they come in a small cube. And this is about four lines worth of the cube. So we'll get this all defrosted out and we'll feed it. So I've been defrosting it for about half an hour or so. And as you can see, there's actually quite a little water in here. It's not really what you want when you're buying frozen food. You want more product than water. And there's still, still plenty of frozenness in there to continue to defrost. So this is the Aqua One brand of Mysis shrimp. Uh, once we're sold out of this, we're going to the Ocean Nutrition as so far, I've found the Ocean Nutrition to be a very minimal amount of water and a lot of food in it, which is absolutely what we're wanting. Let's see how the fish eat it. All right, so let's start with my current favorite fish in the shop, platies. Just freaked them out a little bit to clean the tank. We're going for it. Okay, being a little bit freaked out. You can see the size here of the mice shrimp is quite large. These platies aren't going to have any issues with it. But some of the fry I think absolutely will. Let's see how the koi guppies go. Yeah, small intake of it. They're not as freaked out compared to the platies, so it's not too bad. Little flamingo, guppies. Yeah, no real drums with this one. It's not really causing that massive feeding, feeding frenzy, which is a fun time, but it's being eaten. Oh, I've just spooked them. A couple of the quarries were out having a wee, a wee sift of it as well, but I, unfortunately, spit, spit them out. One's still brave, a little brave soldier. Let's see what the green fire teachers think of it. Yep, again, they're eating it. Not. Uh, massive intense feeding frenzy which is always fun but they're definitely eating it it's missed old mate I'll be no quarry thinking of it so you're gonna have a wee, wee nudge on it come back later and find out uh, well later was about three seconds he's sifting around where it's dropping he's happy and the other guys are just uh, to the left of the shot, just had a screen. They're coming in closer as well. So, corridors absolutely a tick with mice and shrimp. The rainbows, yes, yeah, the action we're after. No issues with them. So much fun to watch feeding, and even the guppies in here are uh, fighting pretty hard for it. They must know things don't last very long with these blue rainbows. Oh man, they're so much fun to feed. So now we're into the forever dirty tank with the corridors. It's beginning to hit the ground now. And a little bit of action coming through. Yeah, looks like they're sensing it's around. Now they're away. Definitely a thumbs up from the Corridor tribes. They've been all about it pretty quickly. Well, made a pisto. Just freaking them out instead. It seems a bit dodgy or scratchy from time to time on live food and frozen food. It was nuts over brine shrimp, but other stuff is just sometimes not so keen. Yeah, 
chew and spit, chew and spit, chew and spit. He doesn't know what to think about it. It's a good thing there's a trial of corridors in here which will clean up after him. Look at that here. Yeah, no, she's chewing and spitting as well. Interesting. Lemon sword tails. Chew and spit. Chew and swallow. Chew and spit. Yeah, there's definitely enough being ingested, taken in, chewing and spitting. Again, plenty of quarries here. Seems like they've been pretty happy with it, so it's a good start. Alright, shotfish. Sword tails. Yeah, they're seeming a bit happier than what the last lot of sword tails were eating it. Guppies, pilgrimies, crebensis. Yeah, the pool gogos are pretty interested. Might be sinking a little bit fast for them. Uh, they're following it down. Yeah, grimy some happy as with it. Golden barbs, emperor tetras, albino quarries. No issues with them as well. Army's coming along, smelling it in the water. It's like baby sharks. Yeah, snipping away now. They can sense it's there. Rubby nose, smashing into it straight away. Spotted Raspora. Not as interested, but man, those rummies are going for it. Wowza. No spit and chew with them, that's straight in, straight swallowed, devoured. Green neons, I think it might be a little big for them. Not that I can get a very good shot because of the stupid light. Adam the better, he's still into it. Cochu's into it, no dramas. Green neons are interested but not really taking it. They know it's food, they're just not. Not so keen on it. Oh, we near like those rummy knives. Wow, that was impressive. Cherry barbs, lemon tetras, pildanios. Pildanios are going crazy on it. Yeah, they're taking that really well. So no dramas with them as well. Last one, we'll check out the neons. Licorice karamis. Again, if I can get a decent shot with a stupid light. Maybe I can't. Whatever. Maybe we won't show this one off then. Nope, oh, a bit closer. Killy up there's going for it. The ones are taking their time. Let's spit and chew. What about that licorice grimy? They're gonna go for it. They're interested. They know it's food. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Maybe not. Come on. Choo choo choose it. Oh, oh, nah. So there we go, frozen mice shrimp. But hit and miss, some of those fish absolutely smashed it, no issue straight away, other fish were a little bit tentative. Uh, what I definitely can say for sure is all corridors seem to absolutely devour it, as soon as it hit the ground they were right into it. Clearly the rummy nose absolutely nailed it. Uh, the blue rainbow fish, which were great fun to feed, hammered it as well, so positives there. Uh, the platies ate it, the guppies ate it, but very tentatively. Um, Pistogramma. 
same thing a little bit tentatively uh, like a scrimy still just sniffing around not going anywhere with it so a little bit hit and miss um, definitely bottom dwelling catfish corridors loved it so you be the judge whether or not it's a fish food that you want to put into your aquarium um, it is very good in amino acids and it is really good for growing fish I have a feeling that if you feed it a few times over and over again eventually all the fish will understand that it's food and they'll begin taking it uh, but as a one-off test straight off the bat you know you can be the judge whether or not it was taken or not uh, if you've got any more questions regarding this topic regarding this food please feel free to shout out ask some questions and i'm more than happy to answer what i can other than that have a good one team happy fish keeping catch you all later